Okay. I had the chance to try one of the most advanced facial scanning technologies, which is used for Hollywood actors to create their 3D avatars. So I can sit where Arnold Schwarzenegger sat? Yes, Okay. Feel free to sit on <laughs> I got to scan myself and see my very own high-end 3D avatar created by the researchers at the University of Southern California in LA. How Lee, a top expert on deepfakes and computer vision, explained how digital copies of humans are made. This is the most um, sophisticated device to capture everything about a human face. Step into the light stage. First, I have to hide my hair with the net so the cameras can capture my whole face. How Lee's colleagues show me different facial expressions, 26 faces I need to make during the scanning process. Great. Okay, you can just try to... Ready? Ready? The light stage is creating images from multiple camera angles. The exact texture right. of my face is being captured. Every last pore. Oh, Just like at the dentist. Yeah. <laughs> it feels really weird because I just see different lights and different colors. Yeah. And yeah, there's a moment when everything just gets pit pitch black and I can't really see anything. Yeah. And it's really hard to make those faces and to keep my eyes open. It's 10 seconds with this light configuration. Could you do it? Uh, I blinked at the end. But eventually everything worked out. I'm excited to see the end result. Does it look anything like me? That's a, yeah, that's a Software converted the captured footage into a 3D model. The eyes are not actually recreated from my eyes, instead they are stand-in models. Do you remember when we were scanning you, you had a little bit of trouble twisting your mouth? Is mm -hmm. that right? So that way. Okay, do you feel like your lips are moving to the right? They're not. But because we are taking an amalgamation of the expressions that everyone else has done that we have scanned, so even if you have trouble doing a particular expression that might be like very complex or complicated, we can take their expressions and put it on your face. So that's not actually that's your not shape. Mine. It's, it's pasted onto your neutral expression. My digital face model was created completely automatically. Hollywood uses the technology to digitize actors and turn them into photorealistic models used for visual effects. Who sat in this chair? Um, a bunch of people. Uh, we had uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger recently, we had Will Smith, Hugh Jackman, all the celebrities. Actors came here for movies like Benjamin Button, Avatar and Gemini Man. The way it works is that we have, you know, these 1200 LEDs that you can see around you. You can see it has multiple colors, so it means that it's multispectral. So it's trying to simulate a real environment. With controlled different lighting conditions, the system can scan how the face would reflect light in a new environment. Basically, using um, multiple camera views, we get the three-dimensional information. So we use a method called multi-view stereo. So it basically looks at images from different views, pixels that correspond to each other, and then we can actually see uh, your face in 3D. Entertainment is still the main field in which the technology is used, but researchers want to make high-end avatars accessible for everyone. I know that in some medical research, they work with people that might have had a stroke or they might have like a jaw deformity that it's more difficult for them to express. But one way to overcome that is that they could have a digital representation of themselves that can express in ways that they're no longer physically able to. If you've lost control of your facial muscles, we could, in a way, give that back to you digitally. That was really an amazing experience for me. What do you think about the light stage technology? Would you like to get scanned like a Hollywood actor and see your high-end 3D avatar? Let us know in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>